Hi there. I'm sorry, I had some technical problems, so I had to start it over again. So, thank you for coming back. I will still wait a couple more seconds for everybody to come back and then we'll start this summer vibe painting. Just let me know if you hear me well, please. Okay, so let's start and we'll wait for the others to join us later. As I said, we will, I will paint and I hope you'll paint with me also another painting with uh, a summer scene. I called it summer vibe and you can see the picture uh, on on my fan mail, so I hope you like it. So just please let me know if you see me well, because I I, uh, I don't see anybody texting me, so I guess you're having some problems hearing me. Please just write me something. Hi. Oh, hi, Alexander. Oh, thank you. So, how is the picture? Is it, it is rotated well, or because? <laughs> So today we'll do a summer vibe. Another summer vibe, I guess. <laughs> will not be a lavender one, but... How do you see the picture? Uh, should I rotate the camera? Because I I'm having kind, kind of problems here. I'm, I'm alone today, so I don't have anybody to... I don't, I don't have any noise. So let's start. So as usual, we start with. Should I rotate like a portrait? Where where is landscape good for you? Because I'm not, I'm not sure how you see the picture. I don't receive any answer. I guess everything is fine. Or is it fine? Okay, okay. Okay. Full picture. That's right. So, as usual, I water the paper. Don't be afraid. Add more water. If you have any questions, just let me know right down. As far as I will be able to read it, I will answer to all of them. Okay. So I will do a sunny day. I don't know how you guys, but I miss a lot the sunny days. I guess because all of this isolation thing. Hey, 
Have you tried to paint after one of my paintings before? Oh, thank you. So if you see that I don't answer to you, please write down one more time the question. I might not be able to read it, so that's why I will skip it. But don't worry, I will try to answer to all of you guys. So let's do a little bit of foreground, background, I'm sorry. So I don't want too much violet today. I don't know if you guessed already where, I don't know if you see any of my works, but I like violet a lot and I put them all over my, my painting. So sometimes I'm just trying to you know, <laughs> just to, to add a little, a little, like, less violet when it's too much is not so good, so. Okay. Some trees in the background. So I will splash a little bit of watercolor. I like how it looks like at the end. So I just put a little bit of my of watercolors on my finger and they just splash it like that. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, that's enough for now. Also okay. At the beginning, I thought I will. I was thinking actually to do um, a cityscape, one of my, one of the rainy days area, but. But I don't know, I just miss summer too much, so I decided to do another summertime painting. Are any of you uh, artists from here? So I see you see. Oh, hi. I'm glad to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you.
So as you see, the reference photo is just something to, you know, I'm not copying it, but just looking at the colors, I try to be just inspired, to be more, more honestly. So I found that photo on Instagram. As after the after the live, I will uh, send a link in the description, so you guys will be able to look at it. I will still add one a little bit of water here as, as it's already dry so I don't need any dry paper for now so I like how here uh, ended up is like darker colors in here and then uh, lighter in here so well I will try to keep it like that so let's see I will still add a little bit of darkness in here. Let's see. Maybe some details. Okay. So I received a lot of questions regarding the supplies again. And you can see at on my like like videos that I don't use very expensive supplies. I actually have this uh, Chinese cheap brush, which is works very fine for me. But I also have very good quality brushes, but more expensive, uh, like Winsor and Newton, like Grumbacher. Uh, I don't know, Moon Mart Gallery, Syria, and so on. You can decide for your, your own uh, which one you prefer. Um, sometimes uh, a cheap brush may work better than an uh, expensive one, but this is not the rule. Of course, um, good brushes are making like are worth worthing their money so you decide what to invest and what to invest or not to invest you do but what i can say don't put too much money in your supplies okay a little bit more darkers in here and um, Oh, you see how beautiful blends in here? So this kind of um, effect, you'll do it only on uh, wet on wet watercolor. you will not be able to do it with oil or something like that. So that's why I like it so much. Okay, I will try to splash a little bit of white colors it's a white gouache on my fingers so it'll be a little bit more vibrant at the end so let's see and here just a couple of this okay Uh, 
Okay. Some dark colors were more intense feeling over here. Oh, I like it. I like here so much. It's just so, so, so beautiful. So I will try to do like a branch in here. Like a dry branch. Oh. Okay. So when you paint, just try to make all of the details when it's still wet. You'll not be able to do it when it's dry. So I think it's a little bit too much. I will want to add some more watercolor. Okay. So it will burn very well now. So again, I will try to do some white poppies at the end, so I need a little bit of darker colors for more contrast at the end. So, let's see. So you see the difference here? Uh, here is just watercolor mixed, but here I have some white gouache. So is the difference, uh, you see the difference of tone here and here. Even if it's um, here is closer, uh, here looks darker. So it, uh, we have to be uh, very careful. It depends what you want to see at the end, but I will always try to pay attention to these details. So let's do that branch again. Was too wet at the time. Are you guys painting with me now or just watching? Get her to cultivate it and her to concentrate. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm watching from UK. Hi, thank you, Harvey. Harvey. Sorry. So, let's add some more contrast in here a little bit. I still have this kind of brush, which is uh, from uh, silver from black pearl. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, Karen. Um, so, uh, what I like about this brush is, if you add paint on the paper, it just remains how it is, how you put it at the beginning. It doesn't blend or so. Sometimes, when I need some special detail, I work with it. When you work often, <coughs> uh, you understand what kind of supplies you need. Might be even, even oil, uh, you can use even oil, um, <coughs> Um, brushes or I sometimes add pastel on my painting I have some more I have some videos so I guess you already know so 
because it is summer time i would like to add a little bit of red in here just just a little so let's let's find it That will be a brownish red. <laughs> okay, and a couple more splashes again. Okay, just like that. And here. Not too much. Спасибо. Uh, not too much. because the paper is still wet and uh, they might blend not so beautiful so uh, i just add a little bit i splash a little bit and you see here how it's already blended i like it um, uh, it shows a little bit of deepness uh, here is more intense blended very well in here so I will add something called like blue. I have a cerulean blue. Many of you have been asking. It's a cerulean blue from Nevskaya Palitra, which is a Russian brand, by the way. Very good the watercolors. Uh, they blend very well, so you can just try to find them online. I guess they are selling online too. Uh, I'm taking them from my local store, but uh, I guess you can try to find them online or just write, write them, uh, I don't know, on their uh, Facebook page. So somebody will answer you if you have, if you have it uh, in your area. Uh, okay. I will try to send you the link just in a couple of seconds. I will send you the link of the painting of the uh, picture what I'm uh, painting today. So you'll be able to find it. Uh, one second. So I will be right back. So I'm still here. So do you see it? I send you the way. You can check it. There is um, a picture from an Instagram account. So I like it a lot, so I decided to paint the girl in white again. So let's start. I would like to add uh, the girl over here, because here is the dark side. Even it's kind of close to the middle. 
I will uh, make her looking on um, on the right of the painting. So I will try to add her over here. But before that, I will add some white splashes again. Okay, just like that. Just a little bit. Okay. But we don't need these splashes over here, so I will just take it away. Just like that. Okay. Fine. So I'm kind of uh, starting to draw with my um, brush. Because the dress will be white again, I will add a little bit of white uh, right here. So I use it my fingers and blend very, very well. Uh, okay. You can use your fingers, or I don't know any. Some of painters are using. Uh, cards or knife palettes or i don't know um i i don't use this kind of things but um brushes and fingers sometimes fingernails are fine for me okay so let's do the hair have you been able to check the pictures the, the, the picture, I, the link uh, in the chat, I just sent it. So it's the reference photo. Her hair is so beautiful, braided, I just fell in love with it. In the dress, it's like a vintage dress. I'm not sure if I will be able to do all of those details from, from the dress, but at least something I will try. Oh, thank you, Nora. Okay. Because she's kind of losing in the, all of these details, I will uh, still add a little bit of white right here and blend it with my fingers. Okay. 
a little bit more and on top of the dress also okay for more contrast I will add some violet in here and try to blend it So this is one of my favorite uh, brushes is from Grumbacher. So it's half an inch. It helps you on details, it helps you on the background, on the foreground, so everywhere. <laughs> Here is her hand. I will do more details on hand uh, when the dress will be dry. Now it's still wet. So I will start to work on green branch. If I missed any of your questions, please write down again. I was uh, to concentrate in now. I till now because the painting was wet, so I supposed to be able to to work fast. So what's the thickness of your paper? Um, I think this one is around uh, 150 grams. One hundred, one eighty. Um, I'm not using paper more than 200 grams. So. Do you prefer uh, these live videos instead of uh, my short ones or should I go back to the short videos? Oh, thank you, Karen. So, thank you, Nora. Uh, I will add the poppies right now, just some of them. Because these are the points of interest besides the girl. So, I don't want to make too many details on uh, branches. Um, so, that's why I will do the flowers now and then we'll go back I will 
most friends to ask my husband were, were mm, I guess my husband will be the one uh, to help me moderate the word to answer you the questions in the future videos because sometimes I might miss them and he knows a lot of details. about my process so you see the splashes over here uh, already they kind of um, making these puppies uh, uh, look uh, I don't know not so close to us but also important in the painting so it's kind of vibrant over here and here and that's why I like a lot to do those splashes and I use splashes for um, for uh, uh, my rainy days paintings also okay so small ones just a couple in here in here and close to the girl. And because we have this uh, beautiful reds in here, I will still add a couple red puppies. Not too many, but some of them will be good. I think in, in I'm not sure if I translate it correctly, but they are called um, chromatic points of interest. So because. Uh, I would like the one, white one to be um, chromatic points of interest because they also match with the dress. Um, these are, these are reds uh, make them um, n n not to look so pure, so, but also accentuates them. So you see this effect? It's st still looking very good uh, when it's dry. Here it's already dry, so it looks so so beautiful. I like it. That's why many times when you're asking me questions on Instagram or I don't know on my Facebook page, I'm saying you have to listen. Uh, what like listen not with your he uh, earrings but I mean um, uh, with your mind what weather color can offer to you because sometimes she's just painting by herself <laughs> How often do you paint, guys? I think, I don't know, once a week, twice a week, every day.
I still want to make some bigger puppies right here, like white ones. This is too much water, so I will um, something like that. Couple of them. So we'll do some details on grass. I'm sorry I missed your uh, your um, comment. I'll have to come back when we finish to answer to you. If you have pictures um, that you think uh, are matching with my painting style and you'd like to, I, you would like me to be inspired by, you can send it to me and I will try to select and paint after some, some of them. So now I will try to do her hand, paint her hand. And wiping her and like that. And want a little bit of white paint. So this is an accent that will accentuate her beautiful body. And I will add the same kind of color on here. And Thank 
ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ light to go through her hair just like that yeah, okay Little bit. Mm -hmm. Just So I will work on flowers again. Here is already dry. I would like to add some dried details, like dried bra or something. Okay, just like that, not so much. Just a little bit. And with my thinner. How often you would like me to do these live videos? Like once a week, once in two weeks, twice a week? I don't know. So now So now I will learn I will try to work on the details just a little bit to look like three branches. do my favorite part which are um, birds
I will still add a bigger crow in here, like watching her. Thank you, Nora. Okay, and maybe one more curl next to this one. So I will finish it by myself, I guess. I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> uh, when I add the details, the process it, stay, it takes, I don't know, a long time, and not everybody is interested. But I will post the finished look of the painting i know i promised last uh, last time too but this one i will post it for sure uh on my uh, facebook page on my instagram page i don't know where are you following me uh also it will be for sale on my website so i will add the, the link down below i will try to do it often if you like it i mean the live videos um also uh you can visit my patreon page to support my youtube channel you can send me pictures of what you'd like me to paint or ideas at least um and write me down down uh, comments uh, down below how you like it uh, and if you try to paint after my uh, demos uh, sh uh send me pictures i would love to see them so let me take a picture of and show you how it look looks like closer so see the splashes and flowers cows over here the girl i will still work a little bit on her hair and dress and this part of the painting, I actually like uh, the, uh, the flowers over here. And thank you for watching today. See you next time. Bye. Thank you, Nora.